All right, so, so now listen to this. So, do you remember, like, well, I don't, but you might. Uh, so the Tea Party came out in 1993, right? Yep. Splendor Solace. And at that time, in rock music, mostly every other rock band was trying to smell like teen spirit. <laughs> But not those three boys from Windsor. Oh no. They had grand designs. It's a different thing. Why am I talking about myself in the third person? <laughs> but the thing was is that, you know, in my in my naivete, in my youth, I had the idea that oh, okay, we just got signed to EMI Records, right? You know, man, we're going places, and I am going to become the Dark Lord of Canadian Rock. Oh. Uh, you kind of did. Uh, well, uh, there's some videos. Uh, temptation, you know, yeah, blah, 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 blah. But see, the thing is, is that what I didn't realize was how much people were paying attention because the thing about the Tea Party that I wanted to exploit with our music was, you know, in, uh, in the world of art, there's that term, uh, chiaroscuro, which basically means light and shade, right? And I wanted the band to be balanced. Like, I wanted us to be, like, as heavy as anything for rock music, but also, you know, explore the acoustic side of things, you know, <laughs> just like our forefathers <laughs> did. And, um, but I didn't really think that people were paying attention to that. But it turns out that at least, at the very least, 50 couples around the world have walked down the aisle to this next song that I'm going to play. Nice. Uh, right? Cool. So the whole fucking Dark Lord of Rock thing just goes on the fucking way. <laughs> But at the very least, you know, if the tea party doesn't work out. At least. Uh, wedding singer. Uh, wedding singer it is. Looks like I'm under your spell once again And hey, hey, lady There just now ain't no denying these things Oh, well It's hard to find people like she is today So I say I will always be time 
in this time